What's going on YouTube? It's B Sneak and today I'm back with another video and today I'm here in Beverly Hills with my pops. So what's up dad? Hey, what's up? And so today, well I actually came to Balenciaga a couple days ago with my sister. And there was something that I was looking at but I just wasn't sure. But now that I know that I'm going to New York, which I'm going to talk to you guys about later, I think it's right for me to get this jacket for the trip. We went to a Clipper game last week and he wore one of my off-white long sleeve shirts. He actually really liked it. So after we go to Balenciaga, which we're going right now, it's on Rodeo. I'm gonna show you guys the jacket that I'm trying to get. We're gonna go to Barney's and he's gonna pick out some off-white shirts. So we're pretty much doing like a designer shopping video with my dad. He has a lot of Calabasas, track pants and stuff and a lot of shoes. He has a ton of shoes. He doesn't really have any off-white like clothing or anything. So I think this will be really cool that I'll get to show my dad all this designer clothing and then he's gonna pick up some stuff. I'm gonna pick up something and I think I'm gonna get this jacket because it's good for New York but you guys will see it. It's really, really expensive. It's really limited. It's really rare. But there's, I think, a couple more left at this store. They're sold out everywhere else, but they have it on Rodeo here. So I'm going to show you guys the jacket in the dressing room probably because Balenciaga gives me troubles for filming. But then we're going to head over to Barney's and then we're going to see if they have any off-way for my dad. So I'm glad I could get my dad on a video today. It's going to be a cool video, something different, show my dad some designer stuff. So with all that being said, I'll catch you guys at Balenciaga. What's going on, guys? So before we get into this video, I have a couple quick announcements for you guys. So if you guys don't already know, I'm having a crazy event in New York this weekend from 12 to 4 at Origins NYC. Just to tell you guys what's going to go down, I'm going to have 50 of these New York exclusive t-shirts. They're super fire. Every single shirt is unique and different with the bleaching. I really like how these came out. This is the New York design. I didn't show you guys in the last video. I think I showed you guys a mock-up in the last video, but this is the actual shirt and it's fire. We wanted to go for like that vintage look with the Metallica font. I really like it. So make sure you guys come through and pick that up. Everybody who buys a shirt at the event does get entered into an off-white raffle slash giveaway. And we're probably going to give away something maybe like blazers or Air Maxes, or just some type of off-white shoe. I'll know when I get to New York and I go to the store and we figure it out, but I will let you guys know. So make sure you guys are active on my Instagram and Snapchat because I'll let you guys know with updates on that. And there's also going to be a ton of other dope things and other giveaways at the event. So you guys better come through in New York 12 to 4 this Saturday. I'll see you guys there. But another thing I have to let you guys know about is Minimal's early access sale for Black Friday and just Thanksgiving time. They're having an early access sale on their site. The link will be in the description. Make sure you guys go check it out ASAP. But they sent me a couple things right here and I'm gonna quickly run through this stuff. This is some of the stuff that you guys can get on the site. But the first thing we have right here are these draw cord cargo pants. These are fire in the olive colorway. They're already really fair and good prices and they're gonna be even cheaper for Black Friday. So make sure you guys check that out it's actually pretty sick sort of has like balenciaga vibes and all those like super expensive designer brand vibes so i really like this this is this is really unique that's why i like this and then i did get some shirts as well in a couple different colors this one and this one and then a couple other things i have the black cargo pants and then i have a pair of motor jeans these are really dope as well and these are all going to be on sale lower than they usually charge for these items so make sure you guys click the link down below minimal black friday early access sale make sure to go check it out and with all that being said let's continue this video with my dad where we pick up some crazy designer pieces and i hope to see you guys in new york this weekend let's get into the video all right guys so we're in the dressing room this is a jacket that i'm trying on this is the balenciaga puppy c jacket it's different it's a little weird but i really like it i really like just the vibes it gives off it's like that oversized and it like sort of droops down on the back i think it's fire perfect for new york like it has nice little details and a little balenciaga logo it is really expensive but it's really comfortable it's really warm and i think that it's a move for New York, but they're checking if they have other colors, but I honestly like the black the most. All right guys, we just finished off at Balenciaga. Thank you for waiting, Dad. He didn't really like it at first, but he understands that it's, it's supposed to look weird and different, and they gave me a big, unnecessary, huge bag. So, yeah, that was a really big purchase, but I've been waiting to get like a really nice winter jacket for New York, and then I may be going to some other places for other events coming up, but, I actually am going to New York having an event. This is going to be perfect for it. So now we're going to head over to Barney's and we're going to check out some stuff for my dad and see if there's any off-white. All 
All right guys, we just got to Barney's and I'm gonna show my dad some stuff and then we're gonna bring it into the changing room and show you guys everything that I think looks good for him because the filming is very strict here too. All right guys, so this is the first shirt my dad tried on, the off-white on the front and then the off-white on the back too. Off-white, I think it looks pretty good on him. Makes him look thinner, I feel like. Yeah, bro, I look fat anyway. No, you look- You're getting fat, all right. Oh, it looks good. This is a new off-white shoe. It just came out. I think it looks pretty good. It says off on the front. And then white on the back. Wow. So this is a camo version of this. <laughs> I think this looks a lot cooler. And it's like embroidered too, which is nice. That's a print. This is embroidered. That looks pretty sick though. And the camo looks a lot better, I feel like. Turn around a little bit. Like off-white there. This is the third shirt. I think this one looks the best. You like that? Yeah, because it's, it's perfect right here. It's Does it always there. say off on the front and white on the back? Yeah, but this one's different on the back. <laughs> Back. It's a new it's graphic. Like, it's like somebody, look at that, it almost looks like, like spray paint, yeah. Yeah. Like they sprayed it on there? Mm -hmm. Is that supposed to be stylish? Yes. Okay. All right guys, so he got a bigger size than this and I think this is gonna be the move. He doesn't really like the camo, it looks too weird. And then this one just like doesn't look good with his body. <laughs> but this one looks good. Once you get to be in your 50s, you start to lose shape. <laughs> Yeah, turn around a little, let's see. Oh, look at this. Is there anything on the back? No. Oh, how boring is that? What are you getting for off-white? You don't get anything on the back on the sweater. But I think it looks good. Look at this, it's so small, you need a microscope to see it. Thanks, Virgil. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, so we just finished up at Barney's. My dad picked up that off-white crew neck. You like it, right? Yeah. I think it looks pretty good on you. It's it clean and simple. Really simple. Yeah. Nice. So now you have your first off-white piece. I have off-white. What's the guy's name? Virgil Alba. Virgil. Thank you for this off-white beautiful sweater. Yeah. I'm excited to wear it. You can it. still wear my white long sleeve. I, I have a too. I have an older long sleeve piece that came out a, a couple years ago. So love you can wear that until I find that one for you. Cool. I'll look online. The sweater's nice for the winter too, because yeah. it's gonna be cold coming out. We're all at the end of November and this is a really cool sweater. Wear it to um, some flipper games. Wear it on the flipper floor with the flipper players, maybe the bench players of the opposing team like we did uh, the next one. And uh, I got this uh, turtle jacket that Jake and my dad bought. The turtle jacket, who makes it? Uh, Balenciaga. Balenciaga, turtle jacket for B Sneak going to New York. Turtle. The pop up in New York. Catch you guys at home. All right guys, so I'm gonna be wearing these Kobe HTMs right here. These are fire. One of the sickest Kobe's ever. I have a couple of the colorways. I think I have all three of them, but these are super fire. But I have a bunch of my recent sneaker pickups right here, which I'm not gonna get into right now, but one of my favorite ones, just to quickly show you. Probably gonna have to be these Jordan ones right here. And these are the court purple Jordan ones. These are so fire. And all I gotta say is huge shout out to the SneakerCon app. This is a legit tag right here, so you guys know that your shoes are real. And the link will be down below to download the app so you guys can get all your pairs of shoes without having to worry about any fakes or, or anything like that. So that is where I got these beautiful Jordan 1s. These are honestly so nice. The leather quality is so, so nice on these. So huge shout out to the SneakerCon app. If you guys aren't buying your shoes with this tag on it, then I don't know what you're doing. All right, so there are a lot of other shoes in this room that you guys have not seen yet, but I'm gonna save that for another video. There's a lot of fire pickups that I've got recently that you guys, I know for a fact, have not seen yet. But now, I'm gonna catch you guys at the court. All right guys, so we're here on the court and my neighborhood that I live in actually does have a new basketball court. It's really, really nice. And the first time that I even found out about this new court was when I took a fire Instagram pic. But there are some reasons why I haven't played basketball in a while. I haven't really played in about half a year, probably six, seven months. And that's just because I've been so busy with school. I've been focusing on getting into a film school in college because I'm trying to apply to film schools in about a year or two when I apply to college because I am going to be going to college. And I also had like a shoulder injury and I've just been really careful with it. And I have also like been working out outside of school just with a couple friends and stuff. So I haven't really played basketball in a while, but I'm just going to be shooting around right now. 
I'm probably gonna suck. I'm probably gonna miss everything, but I just like coming out here and playing when like I'm alone early in the morning. So I'm just gonna start off today by trying to make a couple shots and you guys will see how I do. That's a, that's a 10 foot basket. For anybody wondering, I haven't really played or ran around this hard in a while.